joined by one of the most trusted horse confirmation experts in the performance horse business, Bob Cunningham. Bob has bought and sold horses for people like D. Wayne Lucas, Bob Baffert, Kenny Platt, uh, Kathy Dawn, the list goes on and on. So we are joined by one of the best to help us understand how confirmation affects movement and soundness. So welcome, Bob. Glad to be here. Okay, tell me, why is confirmation so important in the performance horse business? I think that the main thing is you need an athlete, or whatever you're doing, uh, basically any type of horse business, you need to come up with an athlete. The, one of the first things I do, I measure the shoulder, very few people do. So I come up to the point of the shoulder and I measure from there the elbow. When I come up to here, I want my fingers to be as close to that mane as I can get it. If they're like that, and this filly is, is okay. She has a good measurement. She measures from here to here. She measures good from here to here. Now what I have found, the only common denominator I've ever found, when you go around look at the brood mirrors and, and uh, you know they change and their bodies change, but the only thing that, that always stays the same is shoulder. If she has a good shoulder now, she'll have a good shoulder later. And uh, if they have a good shoulder, they'll be a good mover. And uh, so that's the most important thing to me. If I put my hand here, width between the eyes is mainly so that horse can see. He, you want him to be able to see behind him, okay? And uh, you want a big eye. The reason you want that big eye, again, so he can see behind him and in front of him. And uh, so the bigger the eye, the better the width of, of that head, generally the calmer horse you'll have. But mm -hmm. now one thing that is true, you get a real narrow faced horse, his eyes are kind of to the front, you can't see behind him well. In my experience, he could be a little nervous and, and sometimes way too nervous. More of a flight instinct because yes. of that. And, and it's just, just from fear, you know, he mm -hmm. don't know what it is back there, he's got to turn around to see it. As humans, we're up there not letting him look around, so he, he's afraid. You know, it takes him longer to adapt to whatever you're doing. So you want the width, you want the big eye, if you can get it. Don't have to have it. There are plenty of small-eyed horses that mm -hmm. do very good. And, and most of these things are like this filly here might be a little higher right here in the tailbone, where her tailbone meets her body, than I'd like. And I'd like to see it a little farther, but a little more slope to that hip. Okay, yeah. so where the tail set is mm -hmm. will affect the slope of the hip. Yes. Is that right? Yep. And then I'm going to come behind, look at her, and see how much inside muscle she has. And keep in mind, this all needs to be done in 60 seconds. Mm. But you get used to doing it. You get used to. Where's the muscle you, you want there, Bob? See, well, you have your gasket out here, mm -hmm. and your inside muscle right here. The more you can get there, the more power you have back here. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of horses can be very balanced, look very good. But then when you look pretty close, they don't have much power there. There's not, maybe not a very big gas, and mm -hmm. maybe not too big on, on, on the inside. The inside muscle, in my opinion, is more important than the outside muscle. This horse, now Kathy would like this mm -hmm. horse. And uh, he's wide behind. I like him all right too, but one of the reasons you want a little, you want to come in a little bit on those hocks is when you're really working, your, your stifle has to clear your rib cage. Mm 